हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल आईटी प्लानेट इफ दिस वीडियो इज हेल्पफुल टू यू देन डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब द चैनल आईटी प्लानेट हियर ऑन दिस चैनल यू विल गेट द एक्सरसाइज सॉल्यूशंस ऑफ योर कंप्यूटर बुक एंड सम कंप्यूटर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी बेस्ड ट्रिक्स आल्सो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द एक्सरसाइज सॉल्यूशन ऑफ क्लास 8 चैप्टर नंबर 9 that is python looping tick inter gui so here is the word tick inter how to pronounce this word one can pronounce it like tick inter and simply you can call it kinter okay tick inter and kinter these are the two pronunciations you can make t silent also kinter and tick inter So let's start the solution. First question, take the correct answers in that five questions. Which of the following is not the type of loop? And the answer is compute, string, list, or tuple are termed as sequence. The correct answer is sequence. The while loop is also known as empty control loop. Break statement can be used. to unconditionally jump out of the loop the answer is jump widget is the smaller part of gui which provides better control to the user so these green color words are the answers next question true false in that first statement is sequence is a collection of elements and this statement is true in operator is used to check existence of value in a sequence this is true statement second statement when we use else with for this structure is known as while as while else loop so this is false statement range is a predefined function of python this is true statement continuous statement is used to unconditionally jump out of the loop and this statement is false entry widget is used to create single line input box and this statement is true statement let's see fill in the blanks in that first question is the for loop is used to repeat a block of statements until there is no item in any sequence the range function consists of three parameters start stop and step start stop step when we use else with for loop oh this is fill in the blanks right when we use else with for loop this structure known as for else the while loop in python is used to repeat a block of statements for given number of times until the given condition is false continue widget is used to create action button for application grid method organizes the widget window in tabular form so these are the green color words which are the answers for fill in the blanks Question number D differentiate between the following and we have to write the difference between while else loop and for else loop. When we use else with while loop, this structure known as while else loop. Using this loop, we can run an instruction code when the comparing value reaches to exceed limit of condition value. And for else loop, when we use else with for loop. this structure is known as for else loop the else clause of a loop gets executed only if the loop completes its execution normally without having encountered with break statement next difference is radio button and check button so radio button is used to create one option out of many selections 
the user is provided with multiple choices out of which only one can be selected and in check button check button is used to create multi selection check boxes user can select one or multiple check boxes from the list next question is answer in one to two sentences in that what are loops and why are they important in python program loop causes a section of our program to be repeated a certain number of times using the loop the lines of code reduce it takes less time to type the code which saves overall time and also makes the program error free next define a range function so range is predefined function of python this function is used when we need to perform an action for a specific number of times next number 3 name three types of tkinter layout management methods or kinter layout management methods so kinter has three types of layout management methods pack grid and place so friends if this video is helpful to you then please like and share the video and subscribe the channel most importantly subscribe the channel it planet next question answer briefly explain for loop with example the loop the for loop is used to repeat a block of statements until there is no item in any sequence this statement iterates over the items of any sequence a list or a string in order that they appear in the sequence suppose our teacher asks us to read five pages from a book here the reading task is repetitive repetitive so here we state this condition in loop read the book until we reach up to the fifth page the process of reading would stop when we reach page number 6 so this is the explanation of for loop second question is explain break statement and continue statement with examples a break statement can be used to unconditionally jump out of the loop it determines the execution of the loop we can use it in while loop and for loop continue statement is used to tell the program to skip the rest of the statements of the current iteration of loop block and move to the next iteration of the loop loop does not terminate but continues continues on with the next iteration next question is what is widget and give examples widget is a small part of graphical user interface which provides better control for user user generates with gui using various controls like label entry button radio button etc and the last question application based question your teacher has asked you to write a program in which we in which she wants the statement by which the program jumps out of the loop unconditionally by which statement can you do so and the answer will be i will use break statement so friends this is the exercise solution for the class 8 chapter number 9 again i will request you all to subscribe the channel and thank you for watching this video take care and bye bye keep learning